This tutorial is about smart objects uh, for AI. It's like a prefabs that are like scripted uh, events in it, like a table that will move, and the AI can interact with it, like trigger that event. Um, that's it basically. So let's do that. So in the original game, uh, like if I go in prefabs, office, interactive, for example, uh, I have uh, this thing and those in the original games are like stuff the AI moves to create cover from, for the, themselves. So if I double click to add it in my level with the marker on the ground, then I can uh, rotate this to be on the wall. Um, so if I put this like here, and now after it's placed, uh, what you see is like the one texture textured is uh, the one before, and the red, which like visualization, is the one after the movement. Uh, this is a good way to do your prefab for the user, so the user like me <laughs> can understand how this thing like works. And on top of that, um, you have like a little description that you can add to know how it works. So here, I, I know like the object I need to trigger. But first, let's add a cover node on the nav mesh. So uh, we go in uh, cover node, place it like somewhere like this behind where it will uh, create cover. And uh, you want to, like this would be a cover duck. Um, maybe make the curve like 50. Because the pair would be at the other side. And now what's important is we need the name of the prefab to like uh, search inside of it to get the trigger object. And on my cover, I will go in uh, dependency. This is like the node the AI must go first before using the cover. So I use, I think it's flip in this one. You can check the description. So I pass the name of the prefab, then dot to enter the prefab. And uh, then you need to write the um, name of the, um, object trigger which here is flip like if i go in my description you see like a uh, smart object it's flip like it told you name of prefab and dot flip uh, and that's it now if i say compile and play this You see, I can move the table and then cover behind it. And I'm pretty much dead if I stand there. <laughs> but I have like God mode, so. But yeah, that, that's it for this tutorial. Really simple, uh, but we can, uh, we'll check in a later tutorial how to create our own uh, smart object, like a, a different table, for example, which is way more complicated than this. But yeah, we'll see you later.